Snestruck. And welcome back to boss time here on uh, Snestruck Plays Gradius 3. This is probably the easiest boss fight. Well, I guess it is kind of tricky in a weird way, but it is a uh, very easy, bo a very short boss fight for the most part. Let's see if I can knock these guys out. Of course, I, I may have jinxed myself by calling it easy. Really, all you do is you blow up the two heads. You blow up the bottom one, but when you when you uh, shoot the, the mouths, stuff falls from the ceiling just like that, and of course I jinxed myself. Nice going, Alex. God damn it. Uh, okay, there's one, there's two. Let's see if I can get... Uh, missile will help a lot here. So... Yeah, I'm not going to... That was really dumb. I was not paying attention. <laughs> Horps. All right, let's try this again. Right, there's our missile upgrade. This really shouldn't be that hard. It's kind of disappointing. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, what do you call it? Of uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Where like the levels themselves are super tough, really, really hard, and the bosses are just kind of eh, like whatever. Yeah, I, I don't I hate using this pea shooter, but I have no choice. Huh? Pretty easy so far. Nothing falling on me yet, which is kind of interesting. There we go. Oh, I got a free guy too. What? A splashback rock killed me? Are you kidding? Uh, all right. Try this one again. I totally jinxed myself like an idiot. Calling this boss fight easy. All right, let's... What am I going to do here? Well, I screwed up. <laughs> I'm stuck with this pointless double weapon. Yeah, in case you haven't noticed yet, I never pick this weapon. I never choose it. It's completely... It's, it's pretty useless. You, you don't have a choice between this and, and uh, your laser. You can't have both. You can have either have either or. And yeah, this, this is the first time, I think, in this Let's Play that I even, even bothered picking this because it's kind of useless. But uh, come on, I should get by this boss. Oh, that was really close. Okay. What is with this game and these heads? Why are they so obsessed with these... Heads. It reminds me of Parodius, really. Of course it does. Parodius is a parody of Gradius, but this is like a Gradius parodying itself. All right, there we go. See, it's that easy. I don't know why hardly any stuff fell that time, but whatever. All right, let's get rid of this freaking gun. This gun sucks. Come on, make with the bad guys. There we go. Oh, anyway, what was I talking about last episode? I was talking about cereal. <laughs> That's what's funny to me about these Let's Plays, is talking about the stupidest shit imaginable. This game is going to start really going to... Oh, shit. I can't... Ah! Yeah. Well, at least I have that extra life. So, um... And what do I eat for breakfast now? That's a stirring topic of conversation. What do I eat for breakfast? Well... These days I eat Greek yogurt. It's a good source of protein. And um, what else do I? I usually have a banana. I uh, usually have like maybe like two ounces of coffee if I can find it somewhere. I don't really like the idea of uh, spending a shitload of money on a on really on not a lot of you know on a big thing of coffee and not drinking that much of it. There we go. Now we're jacked up on power ups. This is a, uh, if you don't, if you're not able to get the ripple or something that really helps you out, you're not going to last long on this level, because these fireballs come at you fast and furious. Look the fuck out. In other words, if you die in this level, you might as well start over, because everything is way too fast to dodge, and you won't have any speed power-ups, so, again, it's, it's poor balancing by the game. 
But if you go into this level on a lot of momentum, with already with a lot of power-ups, it's pretty fun. It certainly looks cool. It reminds me of uh, the stage in Final Fantasy VI. Not the stage, the whatever the proper word is. The uh, the section of the game where uh, you meet Realm and uh, what's the other guy's name? Strago, and like the house is on fire. Yeah, I think that's when you meet Realm and Strago. I know it's like their side quest. Yeah, this is a super short level. We're already at the boss. And it is not just a dragon, but it is a double-headed dragon. Don't get greedy. Be careful. Ugh. And that's it for me, I think. But you know what? This isn't long enough for an episode. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do what I did last time I, I got a game over. I'm going to go all the way back and come back to this boss fight. We are back to uh, this boss fight of uh, Ass to Mouth Dragon. That's a terrible name. Why did I say that? Well, because he has an ass for a mouth and a mouth for an ass. And he's also an asshole of a boss. And he won't let me hit him. Why are you staying over there? See how badly the screen is glitching out when this thing is on, though? See, th I mean, that's terrible. That's really shitty. I'm sorry, game, but that's, there's no excuse for that. There's an explanation for it, a technical one, but there's no excuse for it. That always bothered me, going back to, like, elementary school and going back to, to like, high school. Anytime anybody talked about, like, there's no excuse to be late, and rah, rah, rebel, rebel, rah, rah, rah. And I, you know, sorry, I'm, I tell teachers, like, sorry I'm late. I, it was, I was left stuck in another class or something like that. I was called into the office by somebody. And, there is no excuse to be able, it's like, that's not an excuse, that's what actually happened. There's a difference between an excuse and an explanation, Jesus. I always hate that kind of, that line of thinking. Yeah, as you can see, this thing just basically just goes around you in circles. Again, to compare to Super Ghouls and Ghosts, this reminds me of uh, the uh, boss at the end of the towers level. I think it's level 4, or the end of level 4, the boss of level 4. No, I think it's a boss of level 3, actually. Um, the thing that just goes in circles around you, and it's the easiest boss ever. Although that boss is a little tough, because it actually shoots projectiles and shit, shoots fire at you. Either out of its ass or out of its mouth, whichever is which. Look at all the power pods. Yeah, you can see the game slowing down because of all the shit I'm decked out with. Ugh. This was a release, uh, a launch title in North America. I don't think it was in Europe. Not, you know, it certainly wasn't in Japan. But uh, it's almost like, ah, eh, the game's good enough. We need a shooter. We need something that definity, de bleh, definitively looks and plays much better than any NES game does at this point. So just green light the thing. Nintendo is usually very notoriously finicky about quality control, especially back then, for their launch titles. They really, really care about uh, the, the opening titles that really demonstrate. Hence F-Zero back in the day. I mean, F-Zero was, it's, yeah, it's a simple racing game, but Jesus, that thing was, that game is a quantum leap in terms of looks and sound than anything you could ever imagine on, uh, on, what do you call it, on uh, NES, on regular Nintendo. It's just the sense of speed you got from that game was really awesome. Are you kidding me? That's how I'm going to die? Shit. Well, at least I have, uh, in, my pr in the process of going all the way back for... To get power up again, I have like five extra extra lives. Let's see how quickly I die. Oh no, not these things. This is a terrible place to start over. Oh no. Oh god, that's my fault. That's not the game's fault. This is an this is an atrocious place to start over because of these stupid things. These uh things that branch out at you. These things down here. And then there's more from the top. Oh, if I can just get... Damn. 
Look at that. What am I supposed to do? I'm not... Ugh. Frustrating. Well, don't worry. I've, I've only got, like, W Blue Sky Lives. If you remember that reference, then good for you. It's, it's, just to explain real quick, it's from Super Mario Frustration. W Blue Sky Lives. My life is feeling pretty W Blue Sky lately. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I like saying it. All right, here's the part. Here's I think there's four of these in this part right here. Fuck this part of the game. Ah, God. What are you supposed to... Look at the room. Look how much room. There's no room for me to fly. Fuck this part of the game. There we go. Can I go? Nope. I'm not fast enough. Fuck. All right. I don't know if the missile even hurts these things or if you can even do anything. Let's go up top side this time. Let's see if that works. Let's get extra speed ups. That backfired immediately. So do not get extra speed ups. Let's see if I can even get to the damn boss at this point. Jesus. This is so frustrating. Let's get the missile. Come on. There we go. Careful. See, yeah, I don't think anything kills those things. I think they just blow up on their own once you uh, scroll past them. All right, I think you just kind of stay up here. And, uh, yeah, that must be what you do so they come at you diagonally so they can't crush you from the top both sides. Okay. What is this, level 5? Level 6? I made it reasonably far enough. I'm not doing another game over reset here. Oh, nice. All right, I have a I have a chance in hell against this boss, which, as you could guess, is a uh, yeah big plant thing that's uh, reminiscent of the uh, Brinstar boss in Super Metroid. Is it Brinstar? Whatever the plant level is, I forget the name of it. And here come the projectiles. Yeah, that's its attack kind of leers at you and it shoots slow motion bullets at you. Again, the level itself is tougher than the boss. <laughs> the boss is like, I'm going to lay down. I'm just so relaxed right now. Uh-oh. Not much room for... Oh, damn it. Oh, there goes my chance. Let's see if I can build up the same power-ups and have another chance in hell at... No. <sighs> That's it for this Let's Play. We're going to switch to another game. I'm going to do another game that I haven't done, like I, I'm not that familiar with. Um, so I'll check you later. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.